material si no la has recibido. Cosas y te estoy viniendo bien tarde. ¿no? Entonces, ahí por cuestiones de trabajo, estuve viniendo algo tarde, entonces me conectaba ya un poco tarde. Bueno, ayer fue que me conecté tarde, entonces quedé un poco corto con esa info. No vale, igual yo, pero mira, estamos temprano. Sí. Pero ahí estamos, hay que echarle ganas siempre. Ok, lo que dice. Más contento. ¿Everything good? Hola, okay. good evening, teacher. Good evening, everything is good. Is everything good with everybody here? Good. Nice. Good. Nice. nice to hear that. Nice to hear Very that. Good. Nice. So let's see who is going to be here in this in this class. Okay, so yesterday we were talking about um let me see what we were talking about yesterday. Uh, 3.5 and we were talking about using so and two and those are bare agreements so when when you you want to agree with somebody cuando se quiere hacer una eh, concordancia que está de acuerdo con alguien o no está de acuerdo so do i so am i and so on so we we had like different uh, different examples So we're almost finished with um, with this um, with this section, section number three. Let me see next. Okay, let's see who is here now. Am I still recording here? Okay, can everybody see the, the PowerPoint presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes. Sure. There it is. Okay, so let's let's take a look at how can we convert uh, some of these examples into the six tenses. Remember that uh, by this time, since you are pre-intermediate number three, you should be able to notice uh, six tenses or to know or to manage six tenses. Present continuous, simple future, simple past, simple present, present perfect, and past continuous. Those are the ones that you should already be uh, doing very well. So we're going to do a little bit of this. Let me just put this here. And let's see who's going to be in the class. I have only nine participants right now. Everybody's overslept. Let me see now. Ooh. What happened here? Okay, yes. Okay. Now let's see who is in. Okay, I see Alan, Elena, Francisco, Grisela, Josemet, Maynor, Nancy, Pablo, and Sergio. And now with all this coming in. So everybody, uh, the ones that are already connected, welcome to the class in the name of English Corporativo and giving you a big welcome. Remember that this class is happening because of English Corporativo is making it happen for you by in support giving those scholarships for you to study. All right, so let's begin, guys. Um, let's see, as you can see, oh, there's Max. Hey, Max, what's up? What's up? Hey, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to take in one, uh, one example here so we can practice. Uh, we're going to practice converting the six tenses. Uh, if you want, take a screenshot 
take a screenshot of 3.6 and we're going to start with that one. Okay. Good. Not yet. Not yet, not yet. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Good. Take a screenshot, take a screenshot. Ready. Ready? Everybody? Ready. Teacher. Yes. Eh, the, eh, the sentences I can swim in the in the ocean. You say yesterday I can do. So, what is it? I can do. I, I can do, teacher. No, I can do. I can do. I can do. I can do. Yeah. First one on the column. The right. second column. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can swim in the in the ocean. Yes, I, I can too. I can too. I can, I can too. too. Yes, the thing is that I made a mistake when I was typing. That was the typo. Okay, so everybody has the screenshot. Yeah. Yes. Good. Okay, let's go practice. Uh, please turn on your cameras. I want to see everybody practicing. Okay, this is going to be a real, real live exercise. Okay. So we're going to start with um, the one uh, that I have in number one. I really enjoyed pizza. I really enjoyed pizza. So we're going to start that and let's practice. We're going to practice in the six tenses, okay? Um, number one, what, uh, you know what is uh, present continuous, right? What is the present continuous? Do you guys remember? Yes, yeah, sir. What is it? No, no, no. The meaning, the meaning of the tense, the meanings of the tense. So in English or Spanish? No, in English. Come on. In English. It has to be in English, guys. There is a verb or an action that something, is happening. Something is happening. Uh, Max, is an action or a verb or a verb that is happening at the moment. In the moment. At, at the, the moment. moment. At the moment. So it means right. happening right now. Okay. So that is the present continuous. Action or verb happening at the moment, okay? Now, what is the pre, uh, the simple future? What is the meaning of simple future? And in the future? Uh, I didn't I didn't listen to that. What is the pre, the simple future? Action or verb that's going to start and end in the future. Thank you, Nancy. Very nice. Yes. Is an action or verb that is going to start and end in the future. That is the simple future. Action or verb that is going to start and is going to end in the future. Okay? Action que va a comenzar y va a terminar en el futuro. That's the future. Now, let's go with simple past. What is the simple past? That is a verb or an action that started and ending in the past. Yes, very good, Max. Yes, action or verb that started and ended in the past. Acción o verbo que comenzó y terminó en el pasado. That's simple past. Good. Everybody is listening and, and understand everything, okay? So what is the simple present? What is the simple present? The simple present is different than the rest. It's about something in general, true. Okay, so the simple present talks about the simple present talks about simple present talks about habitual activities. Habitual activities, very good. That's number one. Habitual activities. What else? Custom. Customs. Customs and general. general truth. Yes. So the simple present talks about three things: habitual activities like taking a shower, drinking soda, eh, eh, eating lunch. Things that we do every day. That is habitual activities. Number two is general truth. General truth is information you cannot change. For example, my name is Alcides. My name is not John, Mike, or anything. It's Alcides. And nobody can change that. Okay. So information you cannot change is general truth. And number three is customs, costumbres. For example, every Sunday I go to church. That is custom. So, or in San Miguel, we celebrate the big carnival in November. That is custom, costumbre. 
okay? Uh, or we can say, in El Salvador, we eat pupusas. That's another custom. So we do understand that simple present talks about habitual activities, general truth, and customs. Everybody understands? Good. Yes. Now let's go with the present perfect. What is the present perfect? What is the present perfect? It's a verb or an action that started in the past and continued in the present. It's an action or verb that started in the past and may continue. Wait. May. It's, a, it's, a started, it's an action may. or verb that started in the past, continues in the present, and may continue in the future. Verbo que comenzó en el pasado, continúa en el presente y puede continuar en el futuro. That is present perfect. Good? Okay. And what is, what is the past progressive? What, what Max, Max? Uh, we can say, and could be in the, in the present. No. 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 Re remember no. that Just could, could is a, is a, um, is a modal verb and also is the past of can. Okay, so no, okay. we have to use may, may continue, may continue in the future. Okay? Thank you. Okay, so what is the past continuous? The last one, number six, what is the past continuous? Option of verb that was happening in the past. Yes, Excellent. very good, Nancy, thank you very much. You guys give me five, uh, Max and Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, uh, the past progressive or the past continuous is an action that was action or verb that was happening in the past. Action or, or verbo que estaba sucediendo en el pasado. Got it? And there you have it. Uh, Six tenses. Present continuous, simple future, simple past, simple present, present perfect, and past continuous. Teacher, one example of simple past Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay. Right now, we are understanding what they are, okay? Okay, okay. We, I need you to understand what they are, what they mean, okay? Right? So, now, let's go to the second phase. Second phase is like this. Uh, every tense, every tense has a general question. Wait, 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 no, not yet. The second phase is, wait, I got, I got all messed up. How do you recognize that? Yes, there you go. How do we know? How do we know that we're using or that we're speaking in the present continuous? How do we know that? In the present continuous. Number one, how do we know that we're using the present continuous when we speak? Because have ing at the end of the verb. Yes, thank you, Nancy. Yes, because we use ing at the end of verbs. Porque utilizamos la ing al final de los verbos. Y ahí sabemos que es continuous, present continuous, ¿ok? Now, así es como lo reconoce. Por ejemplo, um, for example, you, you, you listen to a gringo. Van a escuchar a un gringo de walking. Oh, dijo walking y termina en ing. Está hablando en presente continuous. ¿Ah? ¿Por qué? Porque la ING hace la diferencia. Si ustedes siguen escuchando al mismo gringo, drinking, oh, dijo drinking y termina ING, es presente continuous. ¿Me entendieron? ¿Ya? Yes. Ok, so, that's how we recognize that we're using the present continuous, ING at the end of words. Ok, now, how do we recognize the simple future? How do we recognize the simple future? We use going to. Because we use going to. Because we use going to. Because. Yes. Reconocemos el futuro simple porque utilizamos going to. Por ejemplo, let's listen to the same gringo. Going to eat. Y ustedes dicen, oh, going to eat. Ah, está hablando en futuro simple. Going to. ¿Ok? Así lo reconocemos. ¿Cómo se reconoce todos? Going to. Going to. We use going to. Porque utilizamos going to. Because we use going to. Very good. Now, simple past is kind of tricky. This is this has double. ¿Ok? How do we recognize simple past? We use the, the verb in the past. Mm, that's in the answers. 
It has two meanings. Here. We, are, we use the auxiliary did. Yes, we use the auxiliary did in questions. In Utilizamos questions. el auxiliar did in, in preguntas. And in verbs, we use the, the, the verbs in their past. So, ah. utilizamos el auxiliar did para las preguntas y en las respuestas, los verbos en su pasado. That's how we, that's how we recognize the simple past. Ok. Escuchemos al mismo gringo. I ate tacos. Y usted dice, hey, tacos. Oh, ese es el pasado de eat. Entonces dice, él comió tacos. Oh, yeah. Entonces, pasado simple. ¿Ya? Pero si, si el gringo está preguntando algo, oh, did you eat tacos? Did you eat tacos? Did. Estamos escuchando la auxiliar did. Entonces sabemos que está haciendo una pregunta en pasado. And that's how you recognize simple past. The auxiliary did in questions and in the answers the, the, the verse in the past. Okay? Everybody yeah. understood? Good. Yeah. Now, let's go yes. with simple present. How do we recognize simple present? How do, how do we recognize simple present? ¿Cómo lo reconocen? We use the auxiliary do and does and the verb in present. Because we use the auxiliary do and does. Ahí es donde reconocen el presente simple. Auxiliaries do and does. Por ejemplo, todos aquellos preguntan, ah, what do you do? What do you do? Ah, ese es presente simple. O pueden decir, oh, uh, what does Cameron do? ¿Qué hace Cameron? Ah, presente, presente simple. What does Cameron, third person? ¿Ya? Be, because we use do and does. The auxiliary is do and does. ¿Y cómo reconocemos el presente perfecto? How do we recognize the present perfect? How? When, how? When two things. Uh -huh. What? With two things. We, we use the auxiliary have and the verb in past participle. Uh, almost, almost. We use no. the auxiliaries have and have and has. plus the past participle. Lo reconocemos porque utilizamos los auxiliares have y has más el pasado participio. That's how we recognize the present perfect. Because we use the auxiliaries have and has plus the past participle. Good? ¿Entendimos todos? Yes. Everybody? Yes or no? Or yes. what? What? Yes. Okay. Yes, <laughs> no se me queden así. What? Huh? No. Entiendan. So if not, pregúnteme otra vez. Okay? Um, Let's go with past continuous. ¿Cómo reconocemos? How do we recognize the past continuous? Because we use what and where and the bear what okay. and bear how ing. Yes, very good. Because we use the auxiliaries was and where. That's how we recognize the past continuous. Because we use the auxiliaries was and where and the verse had ing at the end. So that's, that's why it's past continuous. Got it? Got it. Good. Ahora ya sabemos cuáles son los tiempos. Ya sabemos cómo reconocerlos. Vamos a la fase 3. Okay. I understand that um, for Elena, Maynor, Alan, Sergio, Jenny, Francisco, Eduardo, uh, María... Manuel, Luis, and Pablo, this is very new for you guys. But for, for some of the students that have been with me for, from other modules, for example, Max, eh, Grise, eh, Grisela, Josabeth, Silvia, Flor, and Nancy, this is not new. They already, that's why they are answering. I like that, that, that you guys remember. So that's why I like to always eh, do this stuff and get into the six tenses because they are very important for you to manage. Es súper importante para que lo manejen. Por eso me gusta atacarlo en cada módulo. Me gusta atacarlo en todos los módulos. Hey, Alan, invite some tequilas, man. I see that you got some tequila. <laughs> it's, almost, it's almost Thursday, your friends. It's almost Thursday, your friends. Okay? Okay, good. So let's go. So 
now we know what the tenses are. We already know how to identify them. Now, let's talk about phase number three. Every tense, every tense have a general question. And all general questions are very different. Todos los tiempos tienen una pregunta general y todas son diferentes a todas. Pues para no confundirlas, me gusta hablar de ellas. So, let's talk about general questions. Number one, what is the general question for the present continuous? What are, what you, are doing? you doing? What, what are, are you doing? doing? What are you doing? Todos? What are you doing? 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 And what, what does it mean in Spanish? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Good. So, les se los pido en español para que vean cuál va a ser la diferencia entre todos. So, ¿qué estás haciendo? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Pretty good. good. That's the general question for the present continuous. Let's go with the general question for the simple future. What is the general question for the simple future? What are you going to do? Very good. What are you going to do? Everybody. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do today? Let me see this thing. What are you going to do? 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 And what does it mean in Spanish? ¿Qué vas a hacer? ¿Qué vas a hacer? ¿Qué vas a hacer? Algunos se equivocan y me dicen, ¿qué harás? No es que harás, ¿qué harás? Es otra cosa. Este es, ¿qué vas a hacer? That's simple future, ¿ok? Esa es la pregunta general del presente, del futuro simple. That's simple future. A general question for simple past. La pregunta general del pasado. ¿Qué did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Todos? What did you do? What did you do? Todos? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Okay. So what did you do? In this in this case, we're going to use what did you do? Que hiciste? Que hiciste? That's what it means. So you see the difference. Que estás haciendo? Que vas a hacer? Que hiciste? Son super diferentes. Okay. Que hiciste? What did you do? Let's go for simple present. What is the general question for the simple present? What do you do? What do you do? What do What do you do? One more time, everybody. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Chicos, chicos, chicos. Um, a los que están escribiendo, ojo. Mejor enfóquense a entender y a repetir. Si quieren escribir algo, anot hacer anotaciones, yo subo después de la clase, las, subo la clase y se las pego también en, en el WhatsApp. So, para que enfóquense mejor en, en entender y en, y en practicarlo, ¿ok? Después toman nota, lo pueden ver después en el WhatsApp, ¿ok? Ahí lo subo siempre después de que lo subo a la plataforma, ¿ok? Vamos. Ok, um, ¿en qué momento estábamos? Oh. Simple present. What do you do? 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 And what does it mean in Spanish? ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces? Porque es presente simple. ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces? So, difference. ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Qué vas a hacer? ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Qué haces? The general questions. Vamos al número 5. Present perfect. What is the general question for the present perfect? What have you done? Thank you. What have you done? Todos? What have you done? 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 
Good. In Spanish? ¿Qué has hecho? ¿Qué has hecho? ¿Qué has hecho? Ojo, otra vez la diferencia, Luke. ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Qué vas a hacer? ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué has hecho? ¿Qué has hecho? What have you done? Todos. What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Let's go with past continuous. General question for past continuous. Number six. What, 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 what were you doing? 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 What is what is the meaning in Spanish? ¿Qué estuviste haciendo? No, no. ¿Qué estuviste? Lo has de pasado. ¿Qué? ¿Qué estabas? ¿Qué has, qué has estado haciendo? ¿Qué es? No. ¿Qué estabas haciendo? Si dice que has estado haciendo, lo hace otro tiempo. ¿Qué estabas haciendo? ¿Qué estabas haciendo? What were you doing? 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 What, what were, were you doing? doing? Good. Okay. ¿Y significa? ¿Qué estabas haciendo? ¿Qué estabas haciendo? Ojo. Entonces, vean la diferencia. Check out on the difference between all tenses. What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? What are you going to do? ¿Qué vas a hacer? What did you do? ¿Qué hiciste? What do you do? ¿Qué haces? What have you done? ¿Qué has hecho? What were you doing? ¿Qué estabas haciendo? Entend ¿Entendimos la diferencia entre todos? Sí, sí, sí. sí Lo explico así porque mucha gente tiende a, 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 como, a, a, um, a como a traducir en español y en español dicen otra cosa. Entonces, por eso también hago esto, que lo deben entender tanto en inglés como en español para que cuando lo piensen, no, se, no tengan la, o sea, no lo crucen con otros. ¿Sí me entienden? Yeah. Ok. So, we know what the tenses are. Ahora ya sabemos cuáles son los tiempos, qué significan, and how do we recognize them, cómo los reconocemos al escucharlos, and what the general questions are, y cuáles son las preguntas generales. Ahora hagamos un pequeñito, pequeñito ejemplo. Un pequeño. Cada día voy a hacer el mismo ejemplo, pero con una diferente eh, pregunta. En este caso vamos a hacer la pregunta, the general question, que acabamos de conocer. ¿Ok? So, he escogido del screenshot que tiene, escogí la primera, la, el primer ejercicio, el primer ejemplo, que es, I really enjoy a pizza. I really enjoy a pizza. Everybody? Good. Ahora, pongan, pónganle ojo aquí. Listen to this, listen to this. Lo voy a hacer, ese mismo ejemplo lo voy a hacer en los seis tiempos. Number one. ¿Cuál es number one? Todos. ¿Cuál es number one? Present continuous. Ok, good. So, I'm enjoying a pizza. I'm enjoying a pizza. Everybody. I'm enjoying a pizza. I'm enjoying a pizza. I enjoying the pizza. ¿Y qué estamos diciendo ahí? Yo estoy disfrutando. Estoy disfrutando. Yo estoy disfrutando una pizza. Ok. So, otra vez. I'm enjoying a pizza. I'm enjoying a pizza. pizza. Good. Let's do simple future. Listen. I'm going to enjoy a pizza. I'm going to enjoy a pizza. Todos. I'm going to enjoy a pizza. I'm going to enjoy a pizza. I'm going to enjoy a pizza. Okay, good. Eh, ¿Y qué significa? Yo voy a disfrutar una pizza. Yo voy a disfrutar una pizza. Yes. Simple pass. A este solo le agregamos una, una ED para hacerlo pasado simple. I enjoy it. I enjoy it a pizza. ¿Todos? 
Aquí le voy a dar una clave. When you want to say a simple past verb or word or whatever, you just mention like a T. Solo mencionen una T al final. I enjoy it. I enjoy it a pizza. Enjoy it. 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 Enjoy I enjoy la pizza. ¿Y esto qué significa en español? Yo disfruto, yo disfruto una pizza. Yo disfruto, yo disfruto una pizza. Yo disfruto una pizza. Very good. Let's go with present perfect. And remember present perfect, we use the auxiliaries having has plus the past participle. El pasado participio de enjoy es ed. So, se pronuncia enjoy. It. So, vamos a decir, a I have enjoyed a pizza. 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 Good. And let's go with the last one. Pass continuous. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you, my dad. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Pass continuous. I was enjoying a pizza. I was enjoying a pizza. Everybody. I was, was, was enjoying a pizza. a pizza. I was enjoying a pizza. I was enjoying a pizza. A pizza. ¿Qué significa? Estaba disfrutando. No estaba. No, no, no. No, 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 no se equivoque. Yo estaba disfrutando una pizza. Yo estaba Yo disfrutando, estaba una, disfrutando pizza. una pizza. I was enjoying a pizza. I was enjoying a pizza. I was enjoying, I was enjoying a pizza. Good. I was enjoying a pizza. I was enjoying a pizza. I was enjoying a pizza. Y ahí tenemos, miren, simple. Hemos aprendido un gran montón en unos cuantos minutos. ¿Qué les parece? ¿Qué les pareció ese pequeñito, ese pequeñito ejercicio? Very good. Very good. Six, Very good. Yes. Six tenses. Excellent exercise. Sí, six tenses. Hagámoslo un poquito rápido, todos conmigo. Ahora ya entendemos los seis tiempos, ya sabemos cuáles son, ya sabemos cuáles son las preguntas generales, eh, ya sabemos cuáles son sus auxiliares. ¿Ok? Todos conmigo. I'm enjoying a pizza. I'm enjoying a pizza. I'm going to enjoy 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 a pizza. I enjoy it a pizza. Cabe de notar que en pasado simple podemos agregar un complemento para, que, para hacerlo más definitivo pasado. Ojo con esto. I enjoyed a pizza yesterday. ¿Todos? I enjoyed a pizza yesterday. I enjoyed a pizza yesterday. I enjoyed a pizza yesterday. No digan yesterday. La R es muda. Yesterday. 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 Good. Ok. Yesterday. Ahora vamos. Yesterday. Simple. Present. Simple present. I enjoy a pizza. I enjoy, I enjoy a pizza. pizza. I enjoy a pizza. I enjoy a pizza. I enjoy a pizza. Eh, present perfect. I have enjoyed a pizza. 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 I was enjoying a pizza. I was enjoying a pizza. I was enjoying a pizza. 
Very I was enjoying it. Very, Very good. There we have it. Pretty easy, huh? Super fácil. It's easy. It's a piece of cake. Más fácil que decir ya comí. Come on. But you have to remember. You have to remember not to, not to get confused. Si tienen que recordarse para no confundirse con cada uno, ¿ok? So, eso siempre tiene que recordar. ¿Ok? So, vamos a ver qué, qué más tenemos. Tomorrow, we're going to continue with this little practice. Vamos a continuar con otro, otra vez la práctica. Recordándoles, I'm going to mention what they are, what is everything, and how do you recognize them, and what are the general questions for them. And then we go to the, 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 the little practice. ¿Ok? Good. Okay, so. okay. Good. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's go. Let me see what we have now. I'm going to share the PowerPoint presentation again because we're going to continue with that. Can everybody see the PowerPoint presentation? Yes. 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 Okay. So let's see what we have next. That was 3.6. Let's go with. 3.7, 3.7, achievement in cater. In this session, a conversation will be played where a waiter and a customer use motor birds such as wood and wheel for requests. Everybody. 3.7, achievement in the cater. In this session, a conversation where a waiter and a customer use motor birds such as wood and wheel for requests. 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 Good. Okay, let's see. Any questions here? No. No. Okay, let's go. Hello, good evening. Welcome to KFC. May I take your order? Everybody? Hello, Hello. Good, evening. good evening. Welcome, Welcome to, KFC. to KFC. KFC. May I take your order? I take your order. KFC. 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 Okay, one more time. Hello, good evening. Welcome to KFC. May I take your order? Hello, Hello. Good, evening. Good, evening. good evening. Welcome to KFC. May I take your order? May I take your order? Yes, please. I would like a big box XL. Yes, please. I would like a big box XL. Yes, please. I would like a big box XL. Yes, please. I would like a big box XL. Like a big box XL. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like you an like apple an pie, pie with that? With that? Would, would you like, like an that? apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? With that? Yes, I will have two apple pies, please. 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 Would you like to add mashed potatoes? 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 Yes, please. Just make sure that it has a lot of gravy. Yes, please. Just make sure that it has a lot of gravy. Yes, please. Just make sure that it has a lot of gravy. Yes, yes, please. Just make sure that it has a lot of gravy. Would you like a coffee? 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 No, thank you. That will be all. 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 Thank you. That will be all. All right. Good. Um, do you have any questions here? Question. Mm. Gravy is like a sauce. It's like a yeah. It is a sauce actually. It is a sauce, especially for the mashed potatoes. Okay. Thank you. Any other question? 
No. No? No. Okay, take a screenshot, everybody. Take a screenshot. We're going to practice. Take a screenshot. Yeah. Ready. Everybody? Yes. Yes. Got it. Okay, let's go. All right, let's do this. Uh, guys, open up your cameras and we're going to practice. Turn on your cameras, please. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Nancy? Yeah, Nancy, Silvia. Nancy, Hello. Nancy is shy. Hello. Sylvia is shy too. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Very much. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Okay, here we go. So, number one. Hello, good evening. Welcome to KFC. May I take your order? So, let's start with Alan Emmanuel. Number one, Alan Emmanuel. Hello, good evening. Welcome to KFC. May I take your order? Yes, please. I would like a box, big box XR. Would, would you like? like uh, uh, would you like an apple pie with that? Yes, I will have two apple pies, please. Would you like to add a mashed potatoes? Yes, please. Just make sure that it has a lot of gravy. Would you like a coffee? No, thank you. That will be all. That will be all. That will be all. That will be all. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Nice, nice. Okay, let's go. Maynor and Sergio. Hello, good evening. Welcome to KFC. May, may I take your order? Order. May I take your order? May, may I take, I your, take order? your order? Yes, please. I would like a big box XL. Would you like an apple pie with that? Yes, I will have two apple pies, please. Would you like to add mashed potatoes? Yes, please. Just make sure that it has a lot of gravy. Uh, just make sure that it has. Just make sure Please. that it has. Just make sure that it has a lot of gravy. Would you like a coffee? No, thank you. That will be all. All right. Very good. Nice. Nice, guys. Nice. Very nice. Um, Who's next? Let's see. Uh, who? Manuel. Maynor, who, who were you speaking to? Con quien lo practicó, Maynor? Conmigo. Oh, Sergio. Okay, Frank and Jenny, go. Francisco and Jenny. Okay. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the KFC. May I take your order? Where did she go? She left. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh, she gets scared. Oh, there is some, Jenny. Some, Jenny, that's you. Jenny and some Frank. problems. I have a problem with the internet. Oh, sorry, sorry. Problems, internet. Oh, internet problems, internet problems. Connection. Internet problem, yes. Yeah, we can listen to you. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Again, please, Frank. Okay. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the KFC. May I take your order? Hello. Yes. No sé si era conmigo porque el internet me está fallando. Oh, okay, okay, okay. To... Yes, with you. Okay, okay. Yes, please. I would like a big box XL. 
Would you like an apple pie with with that? Yes, I will have two apple pies, please. Would you like to add mashed potatoes? Wait, wait, wait. Would you like to add? Would you like to Would add? Would you like to potatoes? add mashed potatoes? Would you like to add mashed yes. potatoes? Yes, please. Just make sure that it has a lot of gravy. Would you like a coffee? No, thanks. That will be all. Okay, okay, that's good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, let's see next. Who's next? Sylvia and Max. Okay, Max. Uh, hello, evening. Perdón. Hello, good evening. Welcome to KFG. May I take your order? May I? May I yes, take please. your order? Wait, wait, Max. May I take your order? May I take your order? Yes, please. I would like a big box XL. Uh, would you like an apple pie with that? Yes, I will have two apple pies, please. Would you like to add mashed potato? Mash, yes. mashed potatoes. Mashed potato? Okay. Yes, please. Just make sure that it has a lot of gravy. Would you like a coffee? No, thank you. That would be all. Very nice. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, let's go with um, Flor and Elena. Okay, hello. Good evening. Welcome to KFC. May I take your order? Order. Order. Order? Yes, please. I would like a big box Excel. Flor? Would you like an apple pie with that? Yes, I will have two apple pies, please. And would you like to add mashed potatoes? Yes, please. Just make sure that it has a lot of gravy. Would you like a coffee? No, thank you. That will be all. Very good, very good. Thank you, girls. Thank you, ladies. Uh, let's see who's next, who's missing. I think everybody passed, right? No? No. Yes. Okay, um, Nancy and Josephette, go. Hello, good evening. Welcome to KFC. May I take your order? Order, order. Order. Yes, please. I would like a big box XL. Would you like an apple pie with that? Yes, I will have two apple pies, please. Would you like to add mashed potatoes? Yes, please. Just make sure that it's a lot of gravy. Would you like a cup? No, thank you. That will be all. Okay. Good. All right. Um, Veronica and Maria. Hello, good evening. Welcome to KFC. May I take your order? Yes, please. I could like a big box. I would like a big box. Big, I, do. I would I like a big like box. box. Excel. I would like this box XL. Oh, would you like XL. an apple pie with that? Yes, I will have like two apple pies. Uh -huh. Would you like apple pie with that? No, no, no. Yes, You're number I three. Will... Yes, I will have two apple pies, please. you like apple pie with that oh, okay uh, maria yes i will have two apple pies please would you like to add mass potato potatoes 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 
Yes, please. You make sure that it has a lot of gravy. Would you like a coffee? No, thank you. That will be all. Okay, very nice. Good. So you guys, listen. Uh, the the bear would would you like is also a uh, um uh, it is a verb, but it is what we call um, a modal verb. Verbo de modales. That's going to teach you how to how to be more polite with people when you speak. But we can also make WS questions with that. Okay. For example, I can say, uh, what would you like? For example, what would you like to eat? What would you like to eat tonight? What would you like to eat tonight? Todos. What would you like what to eat? What would you like to eat? What would you like to eat tonight? 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 Tonight. Okay. So basically what we're asking about what we want. So if somebody says, Hey Tony, what would you like to eat tonight? Mm, I would say, okay, I want three pupusas and one hot chocolate. That's what I want. I would like three pupusas. I would like three pupusas and one hot chocolate. But that's me. That's me. That's what I want to eat tonight. I don't know why. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just hungry. Okay. So you think about it and you're going to say you the things that you want to eat. Look, I said. I want three pupusas and one hot chocolate. So you need something to eat and something to drink. Okay? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's begin. Uh, let me start with Max. Max, what would you like to eat tonight? Um, I would like to eat fried beans. Green fried beans. Green fried beans. Yeah. Green fried beans, yes. Three fried beans and some bread, some bread and coffee. Just that. okay, good. Three fried beans, and, bread and coffee, and a piece of pineapple. Pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. Yeah, yeah. In the evening, <laughs> and in the morning, it's good. Oh, oh that is my. Um, that is the dessert. The, that's uh, your dessert. Very good. Okay. Nice. Sorry, but sorry, sorry. Please. Okay. Good, Max. Um, as mm, let me see. As Veronica. Veronica, what would you like to eat tonight? I would like to eat. I would like to eat. I would like to, to eat um, and pupusas and chocolate. Okay. How many pupusas? You, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Man, you eat a lot. <laughs> for with, me, for me, it's only three. With, three with, with mayonesa oh. curtido. <laughs> That's in the barrelito, man. That's in the barrelito. <laughs> You're giving the secret away. <laughs> Okay, for me, it's three pupusas and one hot chocolate. One hot chocolate. Okay, uh, Veronica, ask Jenny. What do I... What would you, what would you like to eat tonight? What would you like to eat to... You can... <laughs> Wait, what... what would you like... What do you like... To eat... To eat... Tonight. Tonight. There you go. Jenny? I would like to eat um, a big sandwich with the uh, strawberry smoothie. Good. Hey, hey, hey but, but what kind of sandwich? Uh, turkey. Oh, yeah. turkey sandwich. Oh. And, and a smoothie. And a, ah, that's good. That's good. I love that. <laughs> good. <laughs> nice, nice, Jenny. Okay, Jenny, ask uh, Sylvia, please. And uh, Sylvia, what what you mm, what would like, you what would you what would you like to eat tonight? I would. Uh, I would like. I would like. 
I could like to eat uh, to eat chicken sandwich and coffee. Okay, chicken sandwich and coffee. That's good. That's good. Very good. Okay, Silvia, ask Josabeth. Josabeth, what would do you like to no, eat tonight? No, no, no. What would you like? What would you what, like? What would would you, do like, you like to eat? To eat tonight? tonight. There you go. I would like nachos and soda. Ooh, nachos with jalapenos. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, just a bit. Ask Maynor. Um, Maynor, what would you like to eat tonight? I would, I would like to eat just a free cocktail. Ooh, a cocktail. Cocktail. Yes, free. Shrimp, shrimp, okay. shrimp cocktail. Shrimp cocktail. Shrimp cocktails. Es yes. de camarón, pero si quiere de conchas, es dos no. shells, shells. No, fruit. What? Fruit. Oh, fruit. shrimps. Okay. Apple. I, Apple. I, I was like giving you Apple. options, you know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good. Maynard, as, as Elena. Elena, what would you like to, to eat, eat tonight? tonight? I will eat. Uh, I would like. I would like. To I would like eat a uh, torta I, no, wait, 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 wait. I would like to eat. I would like to eat a uh, torta mexicana with soda. Okay, Coca Cola. Pepsi, please. <laughs> I don't like Pepsi. No, 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 Pepsi. Pepsi. no Pepsi. No Pepsi. I like very much a Pepsi. I, I think and, 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 and it feels like, 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 I don't know, like medicine. Yo siento que es pura medicina. I, I, no. don't, me. I like because it's very sweet. Very cool. <laughs> okay. okay, good. Elena, ask Nancy. Nancy, what would you like to eat tonight? I would like to eat three pupusas and lemonade. Lemonade, lemonade, very good. Lemonade. Okay, Nancy, ask Francisco. Francisco, what would you like to eat tonight? I would like to eat a uh, fruit and coffee. What? I would like to eat fruits and coffee. Oh, fruit, fruit. Yeah, fruit. Fruit and coffee, okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Francisco, ask Flor. Uh, Flor, what would you like to eat tonight? I would like to eat um, a portion of cake with coffee. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, Flor, ask Grisela. Grisela, what would you like to eat tonight? I would like uh, to eat um, tacos and mint lemonade. Lemonade. Okay, what kind of tacos though? What kind of tacos? Los taurino. <laughs> no. Hecho en casa. I like taurinos. No, uh, taurinos I like el burrito especial. Oh, I love it. I love it. So and big. the nachos. And the nachos. No, the burrito especial is is, is a small. It's, <laughs> in, in tacos el taurino is very small, but it's really good. It's really good. Okay. Uh, Grisela, ask Maria, please. Maria, um, what? Uh, what would you? What would? What would? What would you like to eat? What would you like to eat tonight? I would like to eat campero chicken. Ooh, no, 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 campero, campestre. For me, it's campestre. <laughs> or Kentucky Fried Chicken. K Kentucky Fried Chicken. KFC. 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 I'm. I'm, I'm Ah, uh, yes. Don Pollo. No, please. No, Don Pollo. No. KFC Crispy. No, Don Pollo. No, no. Lo barato siempre sale caro. Don Dollar Don Pollo, Don Dollar Tortilla. Y son dos. A Juan Salvacola. <laughs> okay guys that was good okay as you can see guys uh, we had these little um, exercises and and that we're using uh, 
I use the six tenses first. Remember, uh, we need to be practicing those. So every day I'm going to try because we, we need to do also what we have in the platform, okay? But we're, I'm going to try and do some different things so you can remember the six tenses, okay? Okay. Okay, that was the class for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Please come early and have a good night. Go sleep like a baby Thank after you. you eat your three pupusas, okay? And and your and your pollo. What, what is it? Don pollo. Don pollo. Bonanza. Oh, bonanza. Yes. Oh no, bonanza is good. I try bonanza. Good. Very good. That's, that's good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. A pinulito. Pinulito. <laughs> okay, guys. Have a nice evening. Good have night. a nice night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Don't pull you. <laughs>